Good morning, everybody. So, we are back for another one of them. What do we call it? Whip It Up Wednesday crock pot meals. Um, so, as you guys already know, how we're repeated again, this is a collaboration between Lisa from Sutton's Days, Mandy from More to Life, Heather, the needy homesteader, and Linda from Linda's Pantry, and me, myself, Tina from Wilhelm's Kitchen. Now, we want to encourage you guys to post your videos on your Whip It Up Wednesday. Um, but, ah, catches, you must in the video say that you are doing a video response to our videos. So in this way we know it's a video response to these. Just so we know. And also, guys, leave your links down below so in that way I can go check them out and I can add them to the playlist. So, with that all said, both got my bit out of the way. Now, for my meal today, I'm actually just cooking a chicken in my crock pot, but I'm going to do it rotisserie style in my crock pot. Now, I was going to do baked potatoes with it, but honestly, I'm more feeling potato wedges, so I'm going to make potato wedges instead. Um, so yes, let's get started on this. Okay, guys, so first and foremost, get your chicken, make sure it's washed, then pat it dry. You think I'd have a paper towel beside me? I know what I'm doing. Goodness. Okay. All right. Now that I got my paper towel, we're going to pat you dry, Mr. Chicken. Pat, pat, pat. Okay. Set that in the sink. Now, just trying to flatten him out a little bit. He got a little maneuvered in my freezer. There we go. Okay, I'm going to keep reaching in front of you because i got to wash my hands. So, I'm going to take a little bit of sesame oil. I'm using sesame oil. I'm using pure sesame oil. I'm using it just to give it a little extra flavor, but you can use whatever oil you'd like to use. Get that massaged into the chicken. Whew, it already smells good. And it's just from that sesame oil. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Wash your hands again. Now I don't have a towel beside me. Because that is super smart. That's all right. Okay. We're going to take our, I'm using some Old Bay seasoning, dill, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of rosemary on mine. And if you guys think I'm using too much herbs and spices, well then don't use them. Sorry, I get that comment a lot. And I will wipe down my containers when I'm done. I'm going to sprinkle some garlic powder on here. Some onion powder. Some dill. And some of the rosemary. Okay. Just going to pat that in there. Oh guys, this bird smells so good already and it's not even done. Okay, do it again on the flip side. Onion powder, or garlic powder, onion powder, dill, and some rosemary. I don't know if you guys notice, I'm grabbing the bottoms of my containers with my hands dirty, so in that way I can easily just wipe my containers. Little hint for you. Because you do want to wash your containers. You're touching raw chicken, okay? Like, wash your containers when you're done doing this. Okay. So now that I've washed my hands for like the hundredth time, we are going to be right back. Okay, so let's make this the rotisserie style chicken now. Now if you're doing baked potatoes underneath of this, you would wrap your baked potatoes in tin foil. But like I said, I'm not feeling baked potatoes tonight. 
So I'm just going to take tin foil and ball it up. I'm going to do that four times. I'm going to do that four times. Can you count? I can't. Four times to rest the chicken on. Now, if you do baked potatoes with this, the juice goes into the into the potato and cooks it and makes it just so yummy and delicious. But like I said, I, just, I wasn't feeling not feeling baked potatoes with this tonight. Okay, so let me show you now. Okay, can you see in there? Oh yeah, you can see in there just fine. Here we go. Okay. So I got my four little dividers in there. If you have some type of rack that will hold it up, it will work just fine too. I don't. I use tin foil. So now what I'm going to do is take my chicken. I'm going to move my strainer a bit. I'm going to take my chicken and make sure that it's sitting right on those pieces of tin foil. Beautiful. Let me wash my hands. Okay, and that's it. I'm not adding any water to this, no stock, no nothing. I'm just going to put my lid on it. I'm going to get a tea towel. I'm going to set it on top. If you have one of them insulator things, then use that. I don't. I'm cheap. I just use a tea towel. And let this cook for six to eight hours and we will be back because it is 9 30 now and this will go until closer to four probably four so yeah give or take so we'll be back okay guys so i thought why not i'm gonna add a little blub it here of me making potato wedges to go along with the roasted chicken I've got, I think, six potatoes, six good sized potatoes in here. And I just added probably two tablespoons of olive. What am I using? I'm not using olive oil. I'm using avocado oil this time. Just going to toss that around in there. Mind the cupboard door. Gonna add some salt. Because as grandma always said, potatoes and salt are best friends. Which, you know, she was right. All right, and then I'm gonna add in my typical onion powder. I season to taste, guys. Oops. Garlic powder. There's probably about a teaspoon of each one. Um, what else am I feeling? What am I feeling? A little bit of oregano. about half a teaspoon of that. About half a teaspoon of basil. And if I knew where my, there's my rosemary. Okay. Yes, I have more than one container of rosemary. And let's sprinkle on some rosemary just for tasty yumminess. I was going to say something else there. Woohoo! Could have got me in trouble. Okay, let's toss that around. Oh, I know what I'm missing. Okay. Let's toss that around. Make sure everything is good and coated and combined. Now let's get some chili powder on there. Mm-hmm. Chili powder on there. That was probably a good, you know, about half a teaspoon. Get that coated, and I have my oven preheating to, what is it, 450, because I want these to crunch right up. I don't deep fry any, I don't deep fry anything, guys. Have you noticed that on here yet? I don't own a deep fryer. All right, so let me get that out of the way. Bring my cookie sheet over, which actually, normally I don't spray it, but I am gonna spray it, because I really don't want these potatoes to stick. And 
There we go. Let's get these evenly lined up and I'm going to bake these for about 45 minutes. I'll go in partially the way through and give it a stir just so in that way stuff doesn't stick and burn. But you guys know how to cook potatoes in the oven, right? So this is going to go into the oven for about 45 minutes at 450. Sorry, I lied, 425. For about 45 minutes. So if. Okay, guys, so I have a quiet moment here. It is. 20 after 4 and this is done cooking so I just turned my crock pot off I'm gonna leave the lid on it so in that way it just kind of stays warm but I'm not gonna put my towel back on it or anything I've got my potato wedges in the oven and I gotta figure out a vegetable honestly it will probably be a jar of green beans because they're just right at the bottom of the stairs and they're right there easy to deal with so that's probably what we're gonna have so, okay guys, let's get this bad boy out of the crock pot. Come on. Oh yeah, that's just going to fall apart. Mm -hmm. okay. Which is, oop, that's okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Oh yes, that smells delicious. Let's get that in there. Okay, now these things, the tin foil. Place that into a bowl here so they can cool down then I'll put them in the garbage can. They've done their job. Kind of burnt pan that's just because some of the grease has burnt on which is fine not a big deal because like I said I'm going to simmer the bones overnight I think in here so I have some nice gorgeous stock yeah all right so there's that now I got my green beans cooking my potato wedges are done mmm it's gonna be good. Okay guys, so here is my dinner plate. This is mine. We got some fried up green beans that are home canned, those potato wedges, and the chicken. Mm. Look at that crispiness. These are my favorite parts, are the wings. I love these. And then a little bit of breast meat, but yes. Mm. So there's my Whip It Up Wednesday meal. What's yours gonna be? Until next time guys, bye.